Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to improve your eBay selling through rate or boost your eBay sales. And the way to do this is basically most of the time we as eBay sellers are either clumsy or we are too lazy, we don't want to invest time and we don't want to do things we find a bit difficult so in this video I'm going to show you a couple of tips where you can improve your eBay sales um, obviously there's so much f there's so many factors involved in selling an eBay and how you can increase your eBay sales first thing we all know title matters, description matters, and what we forget is most important thing is the photos. They matter immensely. So in this video I am going to show you how I take them and I have show you some example here. I have taken some photos and what sort of equipment I use. Um, I mean, you don't have to spend thousands and thousands of pounds or dollars buying all these high-tech cameras and backdrops and all this sort of stuff. It's pretty simple. Here I'm using an eight-year-old uh, Samsung Note 2. That's what I use to do the video recording, also do my eBay pictures or photos. As you can see, there's one here. I've taken this. Look at how nice it is. And if you go look at another picture, now here we have a Buzz Lightyear one. If we look at it, now these are the pictures. Um, let, me, let me resize that a bit. Look, oh, let's up a bit. And as you can see, the quality of the photo is if. If, if it was a, like a professionally done, look, look at the quality on that photos I've taken. I'll just make it look a bigger so you can, you guys and girls can see it. Right, look at that background, it's beautiful. So, when you start doing, as you can see, these are a few examples I've given showing you. If you go to my eBay account, buy, sell, second hand, I'll leave a link down there at the bottom. You see those pictures, are, photos are absolutely breathtaking. You would not imagine that I have took them with this Note 2 telephone, sorry, Note 2 um, mobile phone. All right. let's go to another one. Again, as you can see, there's such a lovely and another one here so first of all it's so important you should get crucial photos so as I said before you don't have to you do not have to um, spend so much money on those equipment you need to get the details like here look I had to make sure I put even take the photo much utilize all the photos and Take clear photos. End of the day, the photo is self itself. So, uh, whenever I'm doing this sort of shooting, I try to maximize lighting. So, like in daylight when I'm shooting, I will always open the, the curtains or the netting in the window so it gets the natural light through. When I'm shooting in the night time, I used, I always use to to photo cell, you know, photo cell lighting, uh, I'll show you in a minute and I'll leave a link uh, underneath this uh, description. Uh, you can, if you, if you want to buy or purchase one or these things, so you can go through the links and I'll hopefully will get a bit of commission out of them, but I'm not flogging any and honestly, I don't want you to, to go and buy just because I say so. If you think you need it, then there will be a link for Amazon and eBay 
we're just hitting these photo cell lighting system so you can get hold of some i think the price starts about 30 quid it goes up to a quite of the scale you know uh depends on your budget so that's the one thing to look forward to so ebay is always like good photos and good photo sells i can guarantee you to well, if you take a good photo people will look at it and they're just like this here you know they have no issue just to buy the product and i've seen sometimes people use carpets and this stuff for taking photo on the bed sheet and things like that you know it's no good if you're going to be a good professional seller uh you may be a clumsy seller but don't portray it you can you don't have to portray to people that i'm a clumsy or i'm this make sure you come across professional and that way you get your customers are respecting you and they start buying more from you because the photo self should sell itself you don't have to put any sometimes you don't have to put um, paragraph or description but the photo is should really sell itself sell itself sorry so right so next thing i'm going to show you is the equipment now these are the photo cell um, light I use on on, on on this cover side we just put a little thin um, material here piece of cloth small piece of cloth it softens the uh, the light so if I take it out and show you what's inside now there is the the bulb for that light inside and that um, small like a silky cloth here small uh, basically what it does is softens up the light yeah and i have another one here yeah so again as you can see and they these are quite good ones these are adjustable ones you can you can literally yeah uh, take them up and down and adjust uh, the position yeah and here is the what I use for my background and you can use the same too well it is a a roll of wallpaper I managed to pick it up in a car boot cell a roll of um, wallpaper looks like a tile as you can see uh, this this is what it is the roll of perfume and I've just lit up the light here like see that light yeah this, I know you got a flickering because I'm pointing the uh, camera at it so it sort of gives you the bright soft light yeah and as I said before you can adjust it adjust the height of the the tripod to get a better picture next week I tend to do is put uh, I get, uh, you need some bl uh, blue tack and I will put that against the wall and drop it such a way it looks so cool so use a table use a backdrop at wall kitchen wall or your sitting room or whatever wall you got or living room wall, wall.
now as you can see oh, sorry I forgot uh, the camera zone but anyway as you can see look I put the tag on blue tag there on the end and uh, so you have to sort of push it against the, the, the wall and uh, right here what you have to do is make sure it doesn't slick out and as you can see you just roll back and leave it like that so you and then you can make sure you get the photo obviously if you want to cover the whole wall you can do it or you just need to cut, cut, cut off a couple of pieces and you can have a you can set up your own basic studio so i'm going to put it there like this for a minute and get hold of an item so just to show you how you can achieve it now i can get that buckaroo now look just put it there on there on the back on there this buckaroo and if i take a photo of it like this and then and then look all you need to do get it in the frame or you can use the cutting tool eBay tool to you know do the cutting of the photo uh, crop it in other words yeah look how beautiful it looks see that right okay let's let's get another another um, just to show you guys another piece of Okay, monopoly board here. Look, look how cool it looks. See, how, look, look at how how nice and cool it, it will look in, in 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 the background. Right, so let's move that away, and we can use uh, yeah. For example, if I were to make a video of should this um, 59 5950 baseball car for example look at this look at how cool it will come out lovely so this is the equipment I use a Samsung Note 2 quite old you can get them for cheap cheap now uh, two sets of uh, photo cell light and a roll of wallpaper which I picked up in eBay it's like uh, like as if a like tiles bathroom tiles or that kind of grayish grain on it right there we go And I hope um, this video has given you a bit of thought. You know, if you're a, if you're going to make eBay seriously selling on eBay, it's best to consider uh, investing uh, in a lighting system, or you know, basically you need to take good pictures. You know, if you don't take good pictures, you don't sell. Simple as that. And people sort of join into pictures. They like they first impression. They should fall in love with your product. Just watching it. So yeah, go and invest. Uh, leave the links uh, below this video. So if you if you do consider buying it, if you go through my links, I will end up getting a bit of commission. If not, you can you know you can always buy without going through my link. So. I'm not trying to flog you anything here. So, but if you do, then I will end up getting a, a bit of reward for a cup of tea or coffee. There we are. I can go to Starbucks. Wonderful. Or if you can use, if you buy anything online, use my links. Appreciate for this type of videos I'm putting up. Right, everyone. So, Get cracking, get, start taking good photos and um, don't go and start buying all this um, expensive equipment. I could have easily 
tell you to go and buy a Sony RX100 Mark IV which is a new one cost 400 quid and used one you can get them for about 180 220 something like this also in eBay Amazon or whatever but I'm not going to suggest you do that when you're starting out you do not need nothing you only need your normal iPhone or Samsung or whatever Android phone you're using as long as it has got a lot of uh, loads and loads of uh, what do you call it uh, um, so this is how you take the uh, how I take the pictures on my email yeah and believe it or not this type of photograph does in increases yourself so so now what you do try your best to take a good photos and I hope this video has helped you a bit out and thank you for so much for watching this video and all of my other video please make sure you subscribe and click the like buttons if you have any questions regarding eBay sell or anything you would like to know please make it on the comment section and I'll, I will reply to you as soon as I get it so I always like uh, questions and um, I to my best of ability I'll answer it for you so and go and check out my store I'll leave a link underneath the app so you know go for it thank you so much